Hello, this is Daniel Prey presenting on Building Finance Case Study. The initial review of the case, we see that there is a girl named Lucy who's very talented that is headed to New York for cheerleading. Her mom has requested a meeting with the building principal at the middle school level to ask if there's anything they can do to get funds and have the school help pay for this. The principal denies any involvement of money saying that it's just one student so they're not going to be able to do anything. Then goes to fast forward to the game. We have parent volunteers. We have a basketball game on Monday night. Miss Bowman, who's the mother, is working the gate, taking money. During that time, there's a couple different things that are missing. Number one, 10 tickets. They are pre numbered tickets. So every time you get one, you hand one out, and then you have cash also. It's a good safeguard that they use. Ten tickets are missing. They said they were damaged and thrown away. Also, we have a patron that's come in and paid with a $50 bill. And that $50, and we know this because he told us as he walked in, we kind of had that conversation. And that $50 bill is not there at the end of the night. So, principal gets the money, takes it out, counts it in front of his security guard. And the amount doesn't add up, the $50 bill's not there, and those 10 tickets are gone. So we have to figure out what's going on here. What do I know? As we stated before, there should be a $50 bill in the money bag at the end of the night, according to our patron that paid. We know that tickets 78 through 88 are not currently in the bag. As we had those pre-numbered, they were apparently torn and possibly thrown away. We don't have that information yet. And the total gate that we got at the end of the night did not add up to the amount that should have been in there. So for tickets received, um, whatever the money was, whether it was $2 or $3, did not add up at the end of the night. What I'd like to know, well, going from what I did know, what happened to that $50 bill? Did they have to just curious where, where that went, if that was the biggest money in there. And if there wasn't another bigger bill, like 100 or something, they wouldn't have given that as change. So what happened to that $50 bill? Where are those torn tickets? Did we end up throwing them away? What did we do with them? And then I'd also like to know what the district policy is for this missing money. And I'm sure this has happened prior at some point. What's my plan of action? I'm going to do immediately after that conversation with the security guard. We have both verified that there's not, not money. I'd recount, and then I'd call the superintendent or text him and report the discrepancy. So whatever it should be, I'd let him know and talk about what our plan of action is going forward. I'd also set up meetings with gate operators, Ms. Bowman and the other person. And if there was any video evidence, I'd pull that also and take a look. Up at Rock Creek Schools, we have lots of video cameras, so there could be something going on there that we could at least take a look at and see if there was anything. Or maybe maybe it's just it was just underneath. A lot of times we put big bills underneath the um, cash, so maybe it was just down there and it's still there and it's and problems fixed. Um, if we found the missing money, great. Maybe it was just that situation that I said. So when you go to look through uh, the change drawer, boom, it's right underneath there. No problem. Great. Excellent. If that didn't work, if you find it was someone that took that money, what is our procedures there? Are we just having them follow? Are we just having them pay it back? Or is there something more that we have to turn into? And if we cannot track this down, if we have gone through everything and we cannot track it down, we need to get together a superintendent, and even this is a good chance to get with him and come up with more safeguards so this does not happen in the future. There's got to be better things that we can be doing to prevent this in the future. We resolve the issues. 
Number, number one, we need to get more administrative help during these events. If I'm the only administrator on duty and I have got to be in the gym, as we know parents can get a little riled up, even at the junior high level, then we have to have somebody that's monitoring other parts of it, and money is a big one. We need to put in more safeguards to protect the volunteers and, and everyone, staff, myself, these safeguards could be a, we'll take a look in a couple slides, it might be something as simple as putting anything over a $20 bill, recording that down, I got a $150 bill, I got a $100 bill. Also, having a district employee and a volunteer, does that mean we have to pay a district employee now? Yes, but if it prevents this from happening in the future, it might be something to look into. Take a look at past examples. You know this has happened in the past. What did we do then in this situation? What was I thinking? Well, I think the text points us to, did Miss Bowman take the money? Was she so upset, freaking out, she's not going to be able to pay for this trip? Was one of her ways, well, this is cash, so maybe I can take the money, fudge the tickets, um, and then continue to do this. So we need to think about that and then in the future also if Miss Bowman is working a gate or concession stance and the money's not right now we have connections where is that $50 bill I'm definitely think what happened to it how am I feeling I'm feeling angry we don't have better safeguards in place I'm also upset that I don't have other administration help this I can't say it would be a simple fix but it would be much harder to take money if we had proper safeguards intact. And I'm also worried. I'm worried about the missing money. I'm worried about Miss Moman. I'm worried about Lucy. What do I value? I value parent volunteers that come out and support and help out throughout these events. I'm valuing small town life that we can have these parents that will continue to help out and do process that we just can't jump to any conclusions. We have to have the proper channels and the proper evidence to go about this the right way. What are my unresolved issues? We've talked about it already. How can we support Mr. Stevens better at these events throughout the administration or just district staff? How can we support him better? Uh, is there enough money in the budget so that we can put at least one district employee to help out with gate, help out with concessions? That's what we do at Rock Creek. In fact, we don't let patrons, we've had this discussion before, but we don't let patrons uh, volunteer there. And if we do, we certainly pay them. And then, what can we think of to help Lucy get to New York? Can we put together a student board that of her peers for the academics part of this and help them brainstorm, put together a plan, all this kind of stuff? Let's get together as a school and rally behind this child as a small town. What do I need to do? How can I manage this? Well, I, I need to report those missing funds. Like I said, start with, the, start with the top. I need to add in my safeguards. As I said before, maybe recording any money that's greater than a $20 bill. Lots of other things we could do. Um, definitely the pre-numbered system is good. Maybe we could go to an electronic one. If it was something that was inexpensive. Two people there is great. Stop using parent volunteers, or maybe we just have one district employee and one volunteer. They're both counting the money. They're both recording stuff. Lots of things we could do to better manage this. They have a number. I have a number at the end of the night. Those numbers need to line up. Lots of things the book has taught us about. The social learning. We need to continue to host events. This can't be a one-time thing. That's it. We're done. We're not going to look at doing this anymore and we need to keep in parent involvement strong so we can't come after any parents saying I know you did this because that's the backbone of this school right now is keeping them involved I assume it's because we can't pay district employees to do this can we get students to come together and help Lucy talked about this a little bit just a few slides ago but can we get a group of students to come together to help Lucy and put a project behind this that has that social and academic piece of of getting her to New York. And can we establish some guidelines for the PTA of what it looks like? What does one student look like? I know we can't help her 100%, but maybe there's a percentage that we can help out. What can 
kind of guidelines do we have for that and this and this parent so we can help out a little bit academic learning that's where we come for this next one a percentage I thought if we had one student going maybe we can do 10% of that total bill and go up from there you know, or, or maybe break it down in a team okay a cheerleader is, is has team has eight she is one of those eight so do the math there and we could give that percentage of the total bill can we simply sit down and have a conversation with Miss Bowman by brainstorming and using my available resources or the school's available resources could we do a raffle we do a 50-50. Something to help this student and give ideas. Look, we offer suggestions outside of the school. Sometimes we forget that companies around the school are also able to use those write-offs and help support. And we could be a little advertisement for that. So we just have a great opportunity to brainstorm and get lots of different ways for Lucy to get on this trip. Thank you for watching my review of our case study and have a great rest of your summer.